Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? My name is Achola. If you are new, welcome. Here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and just how to look and feel your best at any budget. And speaking of budgets, I thought today I will do my first haul and I wanted to kickstart this with a bang. So I thought, why don't we do a luxury haul? Because, you know, in the last three years, I've picked up a lot of interesting pieces and I just thought I would share that with you guys and um, kind of just go through my process of choosing things and how I managed to score them during end of season sales because that's my favorite like time to purchase all of these items because that's when everything is like 80 to 90 percent off the regular price my plan usually every season is once the items comes into the store for the season i like to go in take a look pick favorites a lot of the time normally at the beginning of the season i'll have about 10 to 12 favorite pieces that i really love like right from the get-go and then i you know i go back and i kind of sit down and i budget myself so i will I look at the item based on how much i really love it and how much wear I am going to get out of it, and then I set a budget for it as to like how much I would really like to pay for that item. And um, to be quite honest with you, I do that with every single thing during the season. And um, what end up happening is usually during the sale season because you'll have the meat season sales and then just like a couple of more gowns before you get to like end of season sale. So what end up happening is a lot of the things will like sell out before they actually get to end of season sale, which is okay. I mean, I don't really get mad. I also believe that if it's still there um, until the price is within my budget, then it's meant to be. Otherwise, I'm like, you know what? It's all good. I'm gonna save that money and like, budget it on the other items that I really want as well. I'm gonna try and let you know how much each item actually cost and um, but with that being said let's just dive right into the video. So as always we are going to start with the accessories and shoes. First item that I want to show you is my Jacquemus earring. Now if you ask me what my favorite brands are I absolutely love Jacquemus, I love Y Project. I also love Ellery. Uh, self portrait, every season I have few pieces that I really love, but I'm not super crazy about self portrait. I honestly just love interesting pieces, like things that are unique and different from just every other brand, if you know what I mean. And um, that's kind of what attracts me to a brand and I feel like Y Project and Jacquemus right now kind of speaks to me and um, I just I think it's cool like especially Y Project is such a cool brand that I mean every single season I find at least three pieces that I really love so <laughs> you know but back to the earrings this is the Jacquemus earring from spring summer just the past spring summer it is from the runway show super simple beautiful I know it looks heavy but it's actually not heavy like when you have it on it's super light I just I love this earrings and um, again I bought it at the end of the season so it cost me about fifty nine dollars and now moving along to my other favorite earrings and that is my the beautiful white project spiral earrings now this one here i can't tell you how much i love it i wore it a few times since i bought it this one is from fall winter last year but it is definitely one of my statement pieces earrings but now here is the issue right it is a little bit on the heavier side so it is perfect if you're only wearing it for a couple of hours um but you know me i like to wear them 
for a whole day long. So what end up happening is every couple of hours I'll take it off, give my ear a break and then pop it right back on, you know, and then it continues for the whole day. But I just, I love it. Again, it was the same price as my Jacquemus one. The regular price I think was $4.95. But these are just my favorite earrings. And uh, moving along to shoes now. Next up is going to be my Christian Angelina 100 millimeter heel right here. Now this baby is a suede with the silver studs kind of all around her. So I initially wanted this one right here. But when the sale season started, I went into Holt Renfrew and those babies were gone. Um, all of the suitcases were gone as well. This one, however, was just sitting there. I think it was the last pair and it just happened to be a size 37, my size. And so I was like, you know what, let me give it a try, see what it feels like. I walked around for a bit in it, just around the store. And it is one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. And it feels like air on your foot. Like you don't even feel like you're wearing shoes because that's how light they are. And um, this one here, of course, I got it on sale for about eight, no, five eighty nine. dollars um, And it was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend. Um, but I honestly, I just... I love the shoes and speaking of Jacquemus <laughs> you know I I just I had to get her like this is the shoes I think that started it all because um this was spring summer 2017 or I think fall winter well, fall winter 2017 2018 and um, it cost me $249, which is not bad at all. I just love this Jacquemus shoes. And of course, it is the square circle heel. Now, to be honest with you, the circle heel here is just a little bit heavier than the square one. So what ended up happening is every time I put it on, I find myself like hitting my left heel a lot, but I still love the shoes and um, I wished I got a size 38 in them because the 37, my God, they feel snug. Like I can only wear it for a couple of hours and I wore it a couple of times. I tend to wear it a lot more during the summer season, of course because you know i can't trust this salt and snow during the winter time but um it's just one of my favorite shoes ever and um the other one that i've been eyeing for like the last three years is the clown shoes by jacquemus if you don't know which one the clown one is <laughs> it's this one right here I just love that shoes. I'm still trying to decide if I want it in the red or the white. Last but not least for shoes, I have my CK205 Claire Western boots. Now, if you know me personally, I'm not a cowboy boots kind of girl, but this one here, I just, I couldn't help myself. I had to get her. So, you know, I was just minding my business at work. I decided to go to the shoes department and this baby was just sitting there by herself and um, I was on sale for $159. Regular price was $16.75. Yeah, $16.75 was the regular price. So, I mean, it's not even... 90 like it's more than 90% off the regular price and you know I'm just like for 160 from like 1675 I'm taking it like I 
I just, I don't care. She is shiny, very beautiful. Now, this one here, of course, is the CK205 Final Collection by Ralph Simmons. And um, I'm just so glad I actually bought a piece. <laughs> but, um, and that is it for the shoes and accessories. Now, let's jump on to this rack right here. Remember I told you on Thursday I did go on a little bit of a shopping spree. Well, my $500 shopping spree. The first item I picked up is the Paco Robin Ensemble dress. Now this one here, I can't tell you how much I love it. I have been loving this piece for the last couple of years. So I work at Simon's and I love to buy all of my luxury at Simon's except for the Christian because we don't carry was Christian in store and um, so for the first year I believe we got this but in more of the floral cut like this plastic will cut more of a flower design and remember how I tell you I always set a budget for every single piece that I love now that one when it went down to my budget price it was all sold out and then last season we received the chain mill here with like the Swarovski stones kind of all over it. Super beautiful. I just, I love that one too. But the lowest it went down to was I think a thousand dollars. And I'm like, yeah, that's like my rent money. Like, you know, I, I can't look cute and stay on the street. Like, no. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. We can live without it. And then this season, this baby came in and I just know I had to get it. And I feel like it is meant to be because it's been going like down in the prices since mid season and nobody even bothers tries it on. And um, you know, my budget for it was uh, 299. That was the most I am going to pay for this dress and that's exactly what I paid. I mean, I, I understand it's a lot if you think about it, but the regular price was $15.95 and for $2.99, you can't go wrong with that. She is cute, I mean, got a little bit of slit there on the side. Also comes with a slip dress, which I think I am going to skip on most of the time because if you look at the dress, it's not super see-through. So you can still do like a proper underwear under this and you don't even need the uh, slip dress. And, um, but you know, I just, I love this. Like this is going to be perfect for my spring summer parties to go to because right now I feel with this Calgary's weather, mm -mm. I will be freezing in this thing because you know, it will get cold and then you feel cold everywhere. Moving along to the second item I got is this beautiful Jacquemus knit floor. I mean, it's like super long, literally, yeah, it's like floor length almost. Um, comes with buttons, of course. Now these buttons, you can do them all the way up. You can undo a couple here to kind of create cutout details on the dress you can even have a super high slit or two slits in the bottom here or you can button it all the way up if you want to you know just walk like a penguin i counted all the buttons and i couldn't believe it and um you know one of the reasons i bought this is also because of the blue color blue is my favorite and it is 2020 color of the year so i am definitely going to be wearing this during the spring summer however if you would like me to uh, style this one for you and kind of just show you how i plan on wearing this piece right here let me know i would love to do like a styling video for all of these pieces but um yeah let me know how many buttons you think are on this dress 
And then the last item from the $500 shopping spree. Of course, it is Y Project, I'm telling you. It's like, it's funny because on Thursday was the 23rd, so I picked up this guy right here. And I was looking at my pictures. Turned out I bought the uh, spiral earrings on the 23rd of January last year as well. So, coincidence? I don't know. But <laughs> it just feels like every year I get a Y project item. And um, this time around, I picked up this baby right here. And she is the accordion bag if you watch the fashion show from the fall winter even into spring summer they are coming out with some really cool colors as well it was like a gold silver like metallic silver almost I love that one too but the other one that I really saw and love is this floral print right here I think it's just gorgeous um, but I still love this one. Now this baby, my budget for it was 199. I told myself if it's still here by the end of the sales season for 199, I am definitely buying it. And guess what? I paid 99. You know, I literally I did a happy dance. I jumped up and down. I was walking on cloud nine all day because I got my favorite bag for lower than I budgeted. And there is nothing better than that. Now, moving along to the rest of everything on this rack. So I also decided to do this alphabetically, except for the shoes, accessories, and of course, the latest items that I added. So today we are doing 3.1 Philip Lim all the way to Ellery. And then in the next video, I'll be doing all the J and the rest of everything else that I have in my wardrobe. And um, so the next brand I want to talk to you about is the 3.1 by Philip Lim. Now Philip Lim is a Chinese American designer. I honestly love his pieces. Like he creates modern clothing for the modern woman and you know i found it at the real real and i cannot tell you how much this thing cost me i think it cost me just under 40 dollars because you know price was 88 dollars and then you know when you sign up they give you a welcome coupon and um, that ended up being 35 dollar canadian also 20 percent off coupon that you can use so I did the 20% the uh, welcome gift card and uh, my total came to like $35 but I cannot tell you how much I love this shirt now if you're interested in Philip Lim fashion I definitely recommend the real real because the prices they literally start at 20 bucks and you can find some of the most beautiful Philip Lim pieces. Now there was also a purse in the same print. There is a dress, there is shoes, everything. So definitely check the real real out and see what you can find by Philip Lim. Next up, I also have this Philip Lim poplin shirt right here with the little flare sleeve, of course. So just button up the little pocket buttons detail all around the shirt now you can undo them if you like you can do like a couple of them to kind of create like a cutout look you know or you can literally undo all of the buttons and then kind of just rearrange and button them up however you like to kind of just give it a little bit of design on the back as well but i just i love this shirt as well you know, I think it's just a classic white shirt. Now, next up, I am going to show you my DVF dress over here. Now, this one is, I can't even tell you from what season because it was 
thrifted by my friend Lorena and I bought it from her. It literally cost me under $20. I honestly just love it. I think it's a simple classic dress and you can't go wrong with a classic dress, honestly. I like to think that I can't. Sometimes I find classic pieces a little bit boring. I like interesting things, like things with interesting designs and things like that. But of course, sometimes you just need a classic basic item that's going to take you from the office to a date night. And this is just a perfect example of that. It's got a beautiful rose gold belt <laughs> rose gold zipper which I really love and it's actually on I didn't realize it was on both sides oh okay so you got your rose gold details on every side of this dress and then you also got the pockets and the little pleat detail in the front I think it's just super cute now continuing on with the D, I want to show you guys my Denis Guignol pieces that I have in my wardrobe, starting with this baby right here. It's just a beautiful tool hood, hooded shirt with the strings, of course. You can make it tighter or wear it kind of just a little bit loose like that. Same thing with the arm, you can tighten it up or kind of just wear a little bit more of um, an oversized sleeve arm, you can call it. Um, but I just, I love this piece. And this one, again, I bought it at the end of the season, cost me about $49, which I'm super happy about. And um, sheer is going to be really hot for 2020, so I think this is going to be perfect for my spring summer. And next up, I have my Denis Guignol tool dress with the floral sequin details. I just think it's super cool. Now, here's the issue. You know how they say one size fits all? Um, but no, it's absolutely rubbish. That's not true because if you are super tiny, then the item doesn't fit you. And then if you're a little bit more on like the bigger size, a lot of the times the items don't fit you either. So I'm like, okay, who's the fit all? Like the middle sizes? Okay. But, um... You know, this one, I find it a little bit too big also. Like, the armhole literally comes to, like, here on me. Um, but because I loved it so much, <laughs> you know, I decided that I am going to live with that. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'll take it into my seamstress and see if she can fix it. Like, just take it in a little bit for me and kind of make it kind of fit a little bit better but I just honestly I love this piece right here like you can wear it with pants and a tank or you can do a slip dress under and kind of just wear it as a dress um one of my favorite ways to wear it is kind of just layering it with a pencil skirt and kind of just have the tool kind of show at the bottom of the skirt I think it'll also be super nice with like a denim skirt maybe like put the denim skirt on and have this peek through the slit of the denim skirt I think that will be super cool and last but not least from Denis is the swirl skirt now this skirt is from the same season as the shirt again it cost me $50 as well and um, in the last couple of years it has definitely become one of my favorite skirts now the material it's made out of is triacetate so it feels super thick but when you put it on it just mm, feels so comfortable it's got the zipper details you know your girl love her some zippers and um, 
On the inside, it actually it comes with like, it comes with a slip. Like, who still does that? You know, it's just the little details like that that you know just gets me. Uh, but it is a beautiful skirt, and um, I wore it a couple of times. I like to uh, pair it with the uh, tool dress. They just work really well together. And now moving along to Ellery. I have three pieces from Ellery. Two were from fall, winter, and then I bought one piece last spring, summer. But first I want to show you the Countess of the Shoulder Top. Now this one, you've probably seen it on Pinterest and Instagram, on like influencers and all of those fun people. Now the thing is, when we first got them in the store, I wasn't really sure about how much I really love it. Um, besides, they didn't have it in like my size, which is a size 2. And I'm like, well, okay, whatever. I think the top alone was about two thousand dollars so i was like no there's no way in hell i'm gonna pay a thousand dollars for a shirt you know so i kind of just ignore it all season long and then we got to the end of the season which is last january this thing went down from over two thousand to ninety nine dollars and once it hit the $99, I was like, you know what? It's actually a cute top. Like, I know it's a size 4, but let's give it a try. And I was so glad I actually tried this shirt on because I cannot tell you the off the shoulder. It's like literally off the shoulder to here. And then you got this huge poof sleeve moment happening, which I love. And um, the... So it is made in Australia and I believe it's cotton so it's actually not too bad for summer season because you know winter like Calgary winters there is no way you're going to be able to wear your winter coat over this it's just not possible and so for me I wear it during spring summer and I just I love it and I am so glad I actually try it on the size 4 because it fits beautifully and um, it's just and it comes with boning inside too to like hold its structure it's like nice fit and flares like flares just a little bit off the body at the bottom which is super nice now next up I have the midi skirt from last spring summer you know, I feel like I can never pull off the Ellery super flare out, like flare bodies, but I love her skirts. Like this midi skirt right here is just beautiful. Color is amazing. Again, I had to go a size up because there was no size two or zero, so I bought a size four. And it just sits right at like my low waist which is actually super nice and um, the best part is it cost me $49.95 so <laughs> you know and now last but not least is my incognito blazer here now this one again is from fall winter as the shirt but I mean look at this baby right and um, crazy thing is I actually haven't worn this blazer and it's been hanging in my closet for almost just about two years now and I feel so bad like it's still got the tags on and everything now this one again was I think over twenty four hundred dollars and I got it for ninety nine dollars and I honestly like one of the reasons I haven't worn it out yet is because I just haven't found the perfect occasion to wear it out to 
and I am also looking for a black matching pants like in the exact same material I want it to be straight like white leg straight so I can just wear it with this and um, I feel like it's a little bit too fancy for work but um, I mean definitely this summer I might wear it out because I feel bad that it's the only item from everything else that's just been sitting in the wardrobe and haven't been worn. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun actually doing this video, so I think I might do this a lot more often. But um Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Find me on Instagram and Facebook at Achala's Closet and um, I mean, don't forget, let me know how many buttons you think are on this blue knit dress right here. I want to know. And maybe your next coffee will be on me. But with that being said, you have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye.